All right, what's up YouTube? This is Charles again, and I'm using manual activation of the uh, recording. And the main reason is because uh, last time I tried to use my stylus, I accidentally activated it to stop the video. Um, I'm obviously not like technologically gifted, but I'm old school. I'm over 50 years old, so what the fuck do you want? And that's why it's not for kids. Anyway, let's see. What do we have here? So we have a Swedish Army um, axe. This one happens to be made by um, Holtzbrooks, or I guess, what are they called now? Holtafors. But they've gone back to Holtzbrooks because... You know, the Hulk of Four's name was not very appealing to people looking for the old school stuff and quality, whatever, you know. So, what do we got here? Um, this kind of nice, um, this mask that you see on here, um, this sheath or whatever you want to call it, um, it's kind of nice. It's the first time I've seen this version of it. So most of the ones I have are very thin and they just go around up to four and a half inches and they just go very thin around here and you got two um, ties that you do back here. So this one has a single one. So let's open this up. So you see that? See how this has the single sheath? I think just loop it through here. This thing goes around there, obviously. Um, you can see there's uh, the three crowns stamp on there. Um, that's the first time that I've actually seen this mask. And I've handled about 10 to 15 of these. Swedish Army um, axes. Um, I don't know. Uh, I mean, what I would say from what I have handled, they they tend to be very high quality. So, you know, when these things are made by um, Holtzbrooks or um, Colorfors Brooks, I mean, they tend to be pretty high quality. Um, I guess that uh, Grand's Force Brooks uh, has also made some of these um, army ones. And uh, I'm not, oh, what, uh, who else? Wetterlings, I guess they've made some. I haven't found one at Wetterlings yet. But, um, you know, obviously they're gonna be somewhat high quality. Now, when they're making it for a contract, they may or may not be using laminated steel. Um, they may or may not be hardening this edge like you would expect from Guan's Force Brook or not. So, number one, I'm not a fucking scientist, so I don't know, you know, what the hardness is. This is this uh, 58 or 59 hardness or not? I don't know. Um, it does look very well made. Um, how is this thing aff affixed? So they use Agdor fix, which is just some kind of resin, you know, like a fiberglass resin type of thing. Um, when I originally had this, there was a lot of over, um, I don't know what you call it, overflow coming through here. So I tried to use a, a razor to kind of clean it up a bit. I am going to try to um, sell this. If I don't sell it, I'm not going to um, have any tears because this thing looks like it's made well. I can attest how strong the steel is, but Swedish steel seems to be much better than like Chinese steel. Um, other places like that. Um, so let's take a look. I don't know if you can see this, but there's a three crowns on here. Okay. If we take a look at the other side, then we've got the H 
slash B Holtz Brooks. Um, starts to say made in Sweden, I'm assuming, but it didn't finish it on here. So that's my, that's what I assume. Um, so I don't know, from what I understand, if you're trying to rehalf this or put a new handle on there, then uh, it's a real bitch because you got all this resin and stuff inside of here. Um, I've used a razor to get rid of most of the, the overflow here, but uh, it's not all gone. You can kind of see where it was. Um, I mean, you could eventually, after much work, clear out all this resin and uh, rehang this with just your standard uh, method. Um, so let's take a look here. Um, so this here, this is kind of aesthetic. So this is not a real um, weld mark or something like that. So I think at this time when this was made, it was just to make it look more like the old school Swedish army. Um, um, like Scandinavian um, poles on there where it was kind of welded on on a separate maybe hardened I'm not sure I haven't found one that is hardened and welded on there um, but they just took basically a small grounding out of here to make it look like it was welded on it's to me does not look like it's welded on it just looks like it's to make it look like it's functional or something like that. I don't know. Um, but that's my opinion. I wasn't there. I didn't forge this. Um, I don't know enough about this. This is the first time I've seen one like this. So with this mask as well as um, this shape from Holt of Fours or Holtzbruck. Um, so what I've gathered from my investigation online is that um, this shape is not very common. So most of the ones that were uh, produced were for civilian use. And they you know, were obviously going to be that blue colored um, paint job. But when they have the three crowns, then uh, possibly they painted it green or it was the units themselves that painted them green. I mean, that's a common tactic from the Swedish army is that they would just to pr protect their existing axes would uh, repaint these, you know, um, yearly or less. So um, this one looks like it was never used. I mean, when you look at the line on here, the shape of this, to me, it tells me that this thing was never ever used. I don't see any abrasions or scratches or anything like it was used. The shape of it is very uniform. Um, so I think this is a, a nice specimen. And uh, you know, I like it. Uh, this thing weighs about, how much was it? Uh, three and two thirds pounds for the entire thing so there's no stamp that I can see this is how heavy this head is I'm gonna guess that it's somewhere between two and uh, three quarters pound up to um, three pounds max uh, when I'm I weighed it on my scale it said you know three point six six um, pounds. Now it's not very specific because my scale is you know one of those natural ones or we, what would you say anyway doesn't matter um, I've got a good approximate weight on this thing um, I've not found very many of these online. I, I have, you know, through Google looking at these, and this is called the, um, what style is this one? Uh, geez Louise. 
I mean, obviously they got egg door fix, but then the style of this, I can't even think of my name, think of the name of what they call this. This is not the, um, the usual Yankee style because you got these ears down here, which you usually don't see on the Yankee style. The Yankee style usually just goes like a short, a straight, um, cut through here. Um, but, uh, I did put this on eBay just to test it. Honestly, I don't think it's going to sell. There's not enough people interested in this. Typically with the full, um, axes, I don't see very many people actually wanting this. And it's a pain in the ass to ship this. I mean, it, it's pretty expensive, okay? So when you have almost four pounds plus its length. So this one is pretty short. So this is only two and one half inches length. What is that? 57 centimeters length. Um, for how heavy this head is, that's unusual. I guess I'd say it's kind of more like a, you know, like a mining type of axe or something like that. Um, but, uh, I don't know. I, I like it because it's short, but it's got the heft on there. So you could really, um, fell a lot of trees. So look how thin this is. So this is about one inch or a little bit less thick thickness. Um, you've got this length on there. I think it's seven inches. Um, plus it's a four and one quarter wide blade. So that's, it's pretty heavy for how short it is. This is about the length of a small forest ax. Maybe was an inch and a half longer, but it's much heavier than that. Um, obviously I've not tried this yet to see how good the steel is. And I don't think I want to try it. I may, if it doesn't sell on eBay and, uh, you know, possibly my son likes it. This would be good, uh, boys axe, right? Just based on its, um, length and all that good stuff. My son is 12 years old. He's in the uh, Boy Scouts and uh, this might be something he might like. Although I will tell you that he really doesn't seem to be attracted to vintage things like I do. I mean, he likes the, the mess kits, I guess, kind of. But uh, like most of the kids these days, there's not too much you know, collecting things. They're just more online, immediate stuff, what takes space or whatever. I hope he would uh, adhere, adhere to some of the stuff that I like, but, you know, since I love him, if he doesn't like it, I, you know, make me feel kind of bad, but I'm not gonna lose any um, sleep on this stuff either. If you have any questions or comments, post them on there and I will try to respond as soon as I can. Thank you.